Hi guys, it's Christy with Christy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we're doing a reading for John Cook and Sinbi. Let's see, we have the Meadow Vulnerability. Okay, let's see what else we got. Blessings, Rainbow, Blessings, beautiful. Look at that card, it's so awesome. <laughs> Pretty. Woo! All right, we have dream time creation. So I feel like somebody gets downloads in their dreams about creating certain things. Oh, there's love here and compassion, and we have synergy. So the green man synergy is when you have somebody that sings, somebody that produces, and together the two energies and different skills make something so maybe they make an album together so one sings one produces and together they make an album so wow this is beautiful so let's see what do we have here for the tarot oh some love okay all right, so somebody's adapting or they've juggled something or are taking on a few different projects. What else here? We have the magician in the reverse, and this is Mercury. This is how somebody thinks. There may have been juggling here and somebody cheating here. We have the chariot in reverse. Now this is cancer energy. This may be somebody that has an obsession. This could be somebody that's stuck in the past. This could be somebody that feels defeated. So what else do we have here? Yeah, somebody wants to reconcile here. Maybe they went out together in the past. This is a King of Pentacles here. This is an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. We also have the Magician, which was Mercury, and then the Chariot that is Cancer here as well. What else do we have here? And we have Justice. So it looks like somebody's getting justice for somebody cheating here. And the chariot is somebody that may be stuck or um, justice is karmic debts being paid. Yeah, somebody can't move forward or they're feeling defeated or feeling... Um, I kind of want to say... Maybe an obsession with somebody here. They really want to reconcile though. And they may be getting karma. Let's see. What else for Sin B and Jean Cook? It could be Jean Cook that is going through some karma. This one wanted to come. Yeah, somebody's got boundaries. They're standing up for what they believe in or standing up for themselves here. Ooh, we've got the Empress. Okay, so somebody's got some boundaries in place. It looks like the Empress may be getting justice here, finding herself. Yeah, she might be investing some money here, but the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. This is Jupiter and Lux, so there might be a delay here in her love life, or her love life is out of control here with something. Mm, devil. This is Capricorn energy, though, so this could just be out of control when it comes to a Capricorn. Or it could be something toxic here. I just want to clarify, why is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Ah, oh, King of Cups is here. So she may be with somebody right now, and her love life is out of control when it comes to this King of Cups. This might be toxic, or this other person is a Capricorn. Yeah, she's not satisfied here when it comes to this King of Cups. 
Huh. Which one are we going to do? Well, since love is showing up here in compassion and somebody was juggled, let's use the love cards. What is the two of pentacles about, please? What's the two of pentacles for Sin B and Sean Cook? Maybe they went out in the past here. Ah, yes, there was a separation here. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. And that is on that juggling here. What's the magician? Wow, I didn't even get that out. That's too many, spirit. What's the magician here? Ooh. Okay, it's still giving me a story here. Heartbroken, deeply hurt here because there was cheating involved. Self-absorbed narcissist or one-sided relationship. So I feel like it was maybe not a narcissist, um, but narcissist, narcissistic tendencies, which is ego, I feel, was in on this. Um, it was a one-sided relationship here. Somebody was giving more than the other because somebody was stepping out. Keys on a ring, yeah, one night stand, and I feel there's going to be some regret about this one night stand because he's going to pay some karma here. He wants to reconcile, and maybe he's feeling like he's stuck here. Um, I kind of feel like with that chariot, he might be um, kind of feeling defeated, maybe a avoiding her or avoiding something. But there's a new phase here, a rekindle, a renew, a transformation, growth, and change their mind about something. So it's possible that he may have realized just how much he hurt her and how much she really meant to him. There might be a new phase here between the two of them. But this reconcile, reconciliation here, what is this? What is the reconciliation? <laughs> I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. And this is on this reconciliation card. Fun, flirting, wanting to date. And love calls. So he might be calling her, sending her messages, thinking of you and letting you know is what this card says with the love call. Okay. And I like you. <laughs> So, and that's on the reconciliation here. What is this King of Pentacles here? This is the Earth sign here. I kind of feel like this might be John Cook here in the middle of the reading. What is this John Cook here? Ah, oh, somebody's ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for a union. Wow, and it's Twin Flame. Yin and yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. Oh, so this is a twin flame union. Now, this may be why it was so hard to walk away from her or for this hurt that they must have felt. And I'm sure he really regretted uh, stepping out, I feel. What is the justice here, please? Why is justice here? Ah, healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom to, from toxic relationships or addictions. And that's on the justice card. So something could be balancing here. Somebody may have already paid a karmic debt here. Let's see, what's the healing heart with the justice? Why, what is the justice? Mm. He may have ran from this relationship, or she did, but it's listening to their ego, and I feel like that was that narcissistic tendency on that one-sided re one relationship, and it may have been a fear of intimacy or a fear of somebody wanting to have more than just a date or dating. So healing heart, the runner, and which coincides with this twin flame because there's that runner chaser dynamic, which usually happens and uh, years go by. And there's date, meeting someone new or dating, getting back out there, 
planning, setting a date. So I feel like he's wanting to date her, but she might be invested in someone else that's not good for her. This King of Cups. She's not satisfied with this. What is this boundaries here? Who's standing up for themselves? Somebody's standing up for themselves. I feel like it might be the Empress. Cupid's arrow. <laughs> Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise. <laughs> Invitation or meeting or hesitation. So it's possible. I'm feeling like they may have had maybe some work dynamic going on that maybe they might collaborate on. Somebody's going to be vulnerable with their feelings here. And there's blessings coming in here. And I feel like they're going to create something together. There's compassion with love here and synergy. And with the synergy, those are those two energies, separate energies that have something to bring to the table that they collaborate on and form something new. Okay. So if it's somebody that sings, somebody that produces and together they create an album. Okay. So Cupid's arrow, wow, okay, so what about the Empress? She's maybe got somebody she's with, so now what? <laughs> the Empress, please. Ooh. <laughs> All right, so Hammer is here, sabotage. So... The Empress might end up sabotaging this King of Cups that maybe she was in a relationship with or was dating. Somebody she may have invested in that wasn't so good for her with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. That's kind of like bad luck and um, delays, life, her life kind of going out of control when it comes to her love life. So I kind of feel... Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. What is this Wheel of Fortune in reverse with this King of Cups here? Who's this King of Cups? What's the King of Cups here for? And the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the King of Cups. Okay, so... Mirroring each other, self-image, relationships, reflecting on wounds and introspection. And I feel like maybe this King of Cups and this Empress are realizing that by going within, maybe this isn't such a good idea to be together, especially if she's sabotaging it. So what is this King of Cups here? She's getting messages from Jean Cook here. So receiving what you want, progression, arriving, moving on, closing issues. So it looks like she closes out this issue with this King of Cups. She's not satisfied and she knows that it's toxic, okay? <laughs> and the very next card is the Four of Wands. The Hierophant, okay? So, wow. So, somebody's going to move in together and get married here. Wow. What's on the bottom of the deck here? Talking. So, they're going to call, email, and um, messages. Interested in conversing more. So, they may end up, they may end up dating because the dating card is here. And Cupid Arrow is here. So it looks like, wow, and this could be John Cook's Empress is Sin B. Seriously. Wow. Oh my God. Isn't that crazy? So she breaks it up after sabotaging this union with this King of Cups who's not working out anyhow. This is somebody that is yeah, she ends out a cycle here. There's there's that two of cups. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. So it looks good. Everything's kind of coming together here. So we'll see what happens. So that is what I have for Sin B with John Cook. Let's see what we have for timeline and some of the zodiac signs that come up for this. Okay, we have Aquarius. We have 10. Let's do this again. So between 3 to 10 months, I feel. So we had Aquarius. We have Aries. We have Gemini. And we have Leo. And Virgo. Gemini again. And Libra. We also have the Earth signs with Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus here. Remember, we have this King of Cups here, so these may be some of his signs as well. The Empress is here, and then we have the Emperor, or no, the King of Sor uh, King of Pentacles, sorry. So we have the Earth sign, we have the Empress, and I feel like there's a lesson here for this King of Pentacles. He is ascending. He learned something from stepping out on this one night stand here, especially when it came to his twin flame. And that's in the heart of the reading. So this is really hard for him to see her with someone else. And I feel like that really tugs on his heart. He wants to balance this out. Wow. This is beautiful. Well, I really like this for them. So I'm just going to get a couple cards here. What can you tell me for John Cook and Sin B, please? <laughs> Life changes are coming your way. And go buy that lotto ticket. Today may be your lucky day. Maybe one of them wins the lottery here. <laughs> What else do we have here? If you're single, step out and let yourself shine. And I believe that's what he does with her. He That Cupid arrow hits. So if he was single or is single now, he sees her with someone else. And I feel like that really gets to him because this is his twin flame. Let's see. His healing heart. He does heal. So that's beautiful. And I feel like he's going to ascend to that Empress stage here. Yeah, there is something you're meant to see. And I feel like for part of maybe his karma is seeing her with someone else. And it really tugs at his heart. And this may be somebody he is worried about. Or is worried at one point here. Can I get two more here? Okay, I got three. Don't limit your challenge. Challenge your limits. Okay. So that may be for their work part, um, where they're both meant to create something together. Ah, what was the root cause of the breakup? And I feel like he's really digging deep in that when he does his ascension and realizes it was him. You are so sexy. I dream naughty dreams about you. <laughs> and I want to speak my truth to you. So he really wants to make amends here. And I feel like she's going to, she may already know the truth, but for him to tell her the truth and confirm what she may feel or already know, will give her that confirmation that she was right. But he really has a thing for her. And I feel like he may even see her as a challenge. I want to speak my truth to you. And that's so beautiful because that takes a lot for somebody to do that. I want to talk to you, please. Oh, <laughs> well, there you go. That's what I have for Sinbi and Jean Cook. Things might be heating up here, but I guess we'll have to wait and see what actually goes down here. So, <laughs> all right.
right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the reading as much as I liked giving it to you about Sin B and John Cook. There might be some love coming through here. Somebody's going to be vulnerable and tell their truth here. I love this. He saw what he needed to see in order to ascend and balance out the scales. And I feel like he had to come forward and tell a truth for them to be able to have that twin flame dynamic so all right you guys give me that thumbs up share like and subscribe if you like the vibe you can become part of our tribe all right just subscribe all right guys we'll so we'll talk later later